Hi and welcome to Mrs. Riley's Maths videos. This is the first video I have introducing the idea of sets, S-E-T-S. And we're going to look at four different ideas here. What is a set? Describing a set. Defining a set, which is slightly different. And some sets words and some sets symbols. Okay, so looking at these items here, let's include this one here. If I asked you to sort these out, you might sort them in this way. You might say, well, I'm going to put all the coins together. I'm going to put all the Lego pieces and figures together. And I'm going to put all the little stones together. In doing that, what you've done is you've sorted the items that I had on my page into groups of items that have something in common. They're similar to each other. And a set is basically a collection of items that are similar to each other. Sometimes they're numbers, sometimes they're objects, but they all have something similar in common. That's what a set is. So what you might do once you have a set is that you might just realize, first of all, that they have to be clearly defined. Okay, there has to be um, a reason why they're together. So for instance, this set here, I might describe as a set of Irish coins. Or they're not even necessarily Irish, are they? Because there's a French coin. So a set of European coins. This might be a set of Lego pieces. I might want to say it's actually a set of small Lego pieces. Okay, and this might be a set of gemstones. So when we describe the set, we're saying what those sets, what those groups of elements, groups of items have in common. You might have a set like the days of the week. You might have a set like, so let's write down some of these sets. You might have, for example, uh, European coins, European coins. That was one of the one we had. We had Lego pieces. We had gemstones, or we might have something we can't physically hold, like days of the week, letters of the English alphabet. Okay, so they are collections of items that have something in common. They are similar to each other. Okay? So each of those could be a set. We're describing them as European coins. Now we may need to be a bit more specific about that. And we might say, when we're talking about European coins, that it's a euro, a 50 cent, a two euro, and a two cent. So we had a 50 cent coin, we had a two euro coin, we had a one euro coin, and we had a two cent coin. Each of these is called an element of the set. So when you see the word element, it just means the items within the set. It's very important that it's clear what goes into that set. That's why we had to say European coins. If we just said coins, then it's possible we could have had British sterling coins or American cent coins or coins from any other country around the world. Okay, the same with Lego pieces, the same with gemstones, the same with days of the week. It's important that we know what is contained in those sets and that it's different to something else. So say I said to you um, a set that wasn't clearly defined, so wasn't clear, so these are all very clear, but an unclear set or a badly described set might be something like my favorite food, my favorite foods, or something like um, good computer games, I think this one would be too big to define clearly because my favorite foods might change from the time of the day to the time of the year. Good computer games, who says what's a good computer game and what's not a good computer game? 
So it's very important that when we say what a set is, that it's clear what goes into it. I might say a good computer game is a Minesweeper, back from when I was a student. You might go, that's a rubbish computer game. Fortnite's much better, or Among Us is much better. Okay, so this one depends too much on an opinion, and this one might change from time to time. So this is describing a set. Now, to make it a bit more mathematical, we have what's called defining a set. Defining a set. So, for instance, we might have the set <coughs> x equals the set of the days of the week. We might have y equals the set of Lego pieces on Miss Riley's copy because if we covered all the Lego pieces in our house, she would be there forever. Z might be the set of Euro coins in Miss Riley's purse. Okay, and that's how you would define them mathematically. We give the, the set a name, usually a capital letter like X or Y or Z or A or B. And then we put X equals the set of the days of the week. X equals the set of Lego pieces. Now, what is that set? If I actually wanted to list the elements of that set, I would put X equals and I would draw these special curly brackets. So if you see that I'll do one over here, look, it kind of goes like that and then a little blip and then like that. Some people draw them like this because they find that little blip hard to get. Okay, and then the other side will go like that. Okay, so drawing the set of the days of the week and, and writing it down properly using set notation, which is what we call set notation, I would write X equals the set of the days of the week and I would write each of the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, oops, I'm running out of space now, Friday, Saturday. Now, if you notice, I start with a bracket, a curly bracket, and I end with a curly bracket, and I put a little comma between each element. Again, each of these items in a set is an element. The only elements that go in that set are the ones that are days of the week. If it's not a day of the week, it doesn't go in that set. I'm not going to do this one because this is a bit hard to describe. How do I describe the peapod guy? Okay, The set of euro coins in Miss Riley's purse is easier to define. So that might be curly brackets. So Z equals curly brackets, 50 cent, 2 euro, one euro and two cent and then a curly bracket to finish off okay so the important thing is that i only list each element once okay the second important thing is that i separate them with a comma i use curly brackets to show when the set starts and when the set ends. And the order is not important. If I wrote Z as being 2 euro, 1 euro, 50 cent and 2 cent, that is the same set. This set is the same as this set. They are equal sets. Okay? because they have the same elements. Okay. Okay, that's a brief introduction to sets. Hopefully it's helpful. Remember, we're talking about items that have something in common, but it's clear what those items are. It can't just be an opinion of good computer games or my favorite foods, because those things can vary and depend on the time of the day or who you're talking to. The items in a set are called elements, and they're always similar to each other. To define a set, we use a capital letter equals, and then we describe it in words, or we can list the elements of the set. 
This is called listing the elements of the set. Okay, talk to you soon.